Hello everyone. Hello. Hi darn. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I think I'm going to start saying that. It's going to be my thing. Hello. Hi darn. Yes. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking all about my tattoos and my piercings. So 13 piercings and 5 tattoos. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump on in. Okay, so I will go ahead and do my piercings first. Um, I'm going to do them in the order that I got them. So, I got my lobes done whenever I was like 6, 7 maybe. I'm not too sure on that. Um, I've had them for a very long time. It's just my lobes. I got my second hole in 6th, 7th grade. Something like that. And then I did not get any more until I turned 18. Um, and I went and got these two cartilage piercings. And one all at the same time, so I got three at once and almost passed out, and it was great. <laughs> I fell in love. He did these two first, and then did this one third, and let me tell you, it hurt. It's one of It was one of my most painful, I think, but I also think it was because he had already done two, and then moved to this ear, and gave me a second, and my adrenaline kind of dropped. So I feel like that could have been why it hurt so bad, but also the spot is a little sensitive, so I don't know. Um, and then next, what did I get next? Oh, yes, okay. Then I went and got my rook done. That is this one right in here. Can you see it? I don't know. This one. This one did not hurt. It healed perfectly. I could sleep on this side the day I got it done. Awesome. Great piercing. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it. I still I think it's one of my favorites. Just, oh, I like it a lot. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, I was going to have to take them all out. And I was so sad about this one in particular. Um, but, yes. So that's that one. And funny story, I actually go with my friend Asia almost every single time I get a piercing, so all but one, and my lobes, she was there for. <laughs> so shout out to Asia for being my piercing buddy. Um, love you. <laughs> I miss you. Um, anyway, so I got this one done. I went ahead and got a dermal. Um, I had two. I got two at once. It was right here and here. And then I got another one on this side because this one had fallen out. So I had these two and then this one fell out. <laughs> so not the best look with these dermals on my chest. My bra straps, my tank tops, everything gets caught in it right here. Um, so it does get ripped out pretty easily. I went cliff jumping and one of them fell out and I didn't even notice. Um, and the other one got infected and pushed its way out. It got caught on my brass strap and that was the end of it um so I don't know debating on getting the other one back but I do have my wedding coming up kind of soon so I don't want to be a distraction from a necklace that I'm gonna wear so I'm debating on keeping it there or going ahead and getting it removed um this one just wanted to hang out I guess for a long time but I am debating on getting that one removed, so I don't know yet. Then I got two more dermals, and I unfortunately had to take those out. They were right here on my, like, anti-tragus. I loved them. Loved them. I'll insert a picture here. I'm sorry, this is the only picture I could find <laughs> of what they looked like, but they healed so good, and I just, I loved them. My... Uh, hair would get caught in them sometimes, but they healed beautifully. They were awful to get out, let me tell you. I <laughs> had to get them taken out for work, and I was so sad because that was easily another one of my favorites after my rook. Like, I loved them. But, oh well, you know, work, so you have to do what you have to do. But, loved those. Had to get rid of them. Moving on. I went and got my belly button done with my cousin, and it did not work out. 
They pierced too much skin and I couldn't wear any jewelry like that you buy from the store. So I went ahead and took it out, let it heal, got it re-pierced with Asia. <laughs> um, and this time it worked out, it healed great, easy peasy, and I love it. Next is my conch piercing. This big guy here. Um, this guy hurt a lot. It was just like a really bad burning sensation for almost a day. Um, it hurt really bad, but it healed really nicely. Um, sometimes if I sleep on it weird, it does hurt a little bit in the morning, but it's really rare when that happens. Um, I love the big hoop in there. I think it looks great. Um, I'm going to try and get all rose gold for the wedding because I want to wear rose gold accessories because I love rose gold. My ring has some rose gold on it. So, trying to find some good rose gold jewelry. So, if you guys know anywhere that I could get some, let me know. Um, but this guy, probably, I, really, I like it. I love this ear. This ear is just like, ugh, it's great. Um, next, I got my tragus here and my snug. But that guy hurt really bad. My ear also swelled up really bad after I got this done. That was like two days after. Um, and it wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be, so I'm a little sad. <laughs> Just because I can't fix it. And I thought about taking it out and letting it heal and then getting it redone, but I honestly don't think I would do that one again. My tragus hurt pretty bad too. They said that I had a really thick tragus though, so... Yeah, I just got these two in May. Um, I had been holding off on getting some more ear piercings for the fact that my work didn't really allow them. I do want to get one more on this side, just like right there. Just a little stud right there. I think that would be really cute. And then I think I'd have... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then I'd have an even amount of piercings on each side, which... I like. <laughs> yeah, so next time Asia comes down, I'm gonna go get that pierced. <laughs> time for tattoos. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do them in the order that I got them. Let's see. So I got this guy. Um, I'll go ahead and insert a picture of whenever I first got it. My mom and I actually went and got them. I was 17 at the time. We went and got matching ones. Hers is colored a little bit differently, but we both got hummingbirds from my grandma that passed away. She always had hummingbirds everywhere and hummingbird feeders everywhere. She had to make so many gallons of hummingbird food a week. It was crazy. I think she had to make some like every day, actually. So we wanted to get that for her. Second, I got a lotus on my right ankle. I will insert a picture here of it. Um, I got this one. Asia was there for that too. Um, I got the lotus flower because it blooms in the mud. And it comes out beautiful even though it blooms in the mud. So I kind of took it as everything you go through in life. You can still come out a beautiful flower. <laughs> um... So yes, I got that one done in Albuquerque, yeah, and that was, I think I was 18, I was a freshman in college, <laughs> um, whenever I got that one done. So next I have my pineapple, I absolutely love this guy, I'm sure you guys have seen it in my video. Um, so this one, <laughs> I majored in hotel, restaurant, and tourism and management. So I went to San Antonio, Texas for a summer and did an internship over there. I lived in a three bedroom apartment with six people. It was crazy. It was fun. It was a lot of hard work. It was hot. <laughs> um, and we decided to get something to commemorate it. So uh, um, a pineapple is actually the international sign for tourism, if you did not know. So we all decided to go get pineapple tattoos, <laughs> all six of us. Um, so we all six have a pineapple. Some of them are a little bit different than the other ones, but 
I decided to get mine here. I absolutely love it. Didn't hurt. Like at all. So, yes, that is the story of this guy. I love him. So, fast forward almost a year, and I'm about to leave back to San Antonio for um, a year to pursue a management training program. And Asia said, let's go get tattoos. And I said, okay. That's how I ended up with a heart on my hip. <laughs> I love that we have one together. The inspo actually came from Rachel. If you guys watch Friends, then you know Rachel gets a heart tattoo on her hip. Um, the little red one. We ended up getting black outlined hearts just because we didn't want the red to look weird or anything like that. Lastly, I have one on my foot. Let me tell you, my foot tattoo hurts so bad. I will never ever get it retouched up. Ever. If it fades, I don't care. Um, it hurts so bad. Nope. Mm-mm. Not a foot tattoo person. But I love it. I actually got it perfectly to where if I wore flip-flops, which I love to wear flip-flops, um, it fit right in there. I will insert a picture now. I absolutely love it. I got it for my whole family. We all shoot bow and arrow. We all do 3D bow shoots together. And I just wanted something that would encompass the whole family. Um, it, we used to go all the time to bow shoots. And it was so much fun. I loved every minute of it. We just recently started going again, so that is super exciting. I absolutely love it. So we actually all used to go to 3D bow shoots as a huge family. Um, it was really fun. Uh, I just got my fiancé into shooting, so that was really fun. We actually just went on a bow shoot a couple, uh, I guess it's been like a month ago now. It was so much fun. We went up to the mountains and camped, and it was my parents, my fiancé, me, my sister, um, her husband and her two little ones that also shoot and it was just such a fun time. I absolutely love shooting so and I love 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 this tattoo. It's probably my favorite one out of all of them and I really I love all of my tattoos. All of them have a meaning and I love that. I love them. I can't wait to get more. I am going to probably get my next one right here on my shoulder which I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to get a couple of peonies on my shoulder because my mom loves peonies. And I just think it'd be really pretty. I've always wanted like a shoulder top tattoo. So I think I'm going to do that right there. Then I want to get Wanderlust right here with waves and mountains in the background, but I want to get the Oregon mountains in the background because I lived in Las Cruces for a long time. I grew so much as a person there that I really want to commemorate that. Get the Oregon Mountains on there as well. And then it's going to have a little airplane as well. Not a paper airplane. I don't think I want a real airplane. Because I love to travel. Love, love, love it. And I hope to do more of it. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my tattoos and piercings. I'm sorry I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so scatterbrained and all over the place in this video. I should have probably written out what I was going to say. Oh well. Um, so be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified if you haven't already. I post once a week on Fridays or Saturdays. Shout out to Asia. I love you and I miss you. And I can't wait for you to come visit so that way we can go get more piercings. Um, and uh, yeah. Bye. Um, oh. Damn it. <laughs> no, I'll just insert a picture. Bow and arrow, I'll... <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to know how...